42. So we'll go to Luke 22, 42, and we'll see if this shows where Jesus is a Muslim. All but right? Avery, Avery, here's the thing, bro. Just because... Wait, wait, one at a time. Luke 22, 42. Let's do it one thing at a time here. Luke 22. Luke 22, 42. <clears throat> this is tough. All right. So saying, uh, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. So I guess I'll ask the same question to you who showed me Luke 22, uh, 22 42. Is Allah the father of Jesus? No, this is how you guys misrepresent. Wait, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Is, is, on. Hang on. is God the father? Oh, is God the father of David? Guys, guys hold on. There's okay, somebody fine. who quoted this verse. I, wanna, I want him to answer this. Is Allah the father of Jesus? The one who quoted Luke 22? No. The one who quoted Luke 22. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Is, it, is Allah it. the father of Jesus? No. No. So then that means this can't be, this proves that he's not a Muslim, right? Since he's saying that God is his father, right? That's, that's not how it works. Because like if the Quran says, oh, the prophet did this, then you're going to interpret it using the Quran. What do you mean? In, what do you mean interpret it? You said that in this verse, it shows that he's a Muslim because he submits to God. Yeah. So he says here, and I'll put it on the screen so we can all see it, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours, the Father's will, be done. Yeah, we don't believe that. Yeah, that's how you guys, that's how you guys well, interpret the word. Well, no, how, wait. how do you interpret wait. the word Father? How do you hold interpret on. the word hold Father on. here? Hold on. That's a good question. How do you interpret the word Father? We'll get to that secondly. But first, did I quote this or did you, um, Harira? Did, did I quote this or did you? Yes, I did. Okay, so if you quoted it, I didn't quote this. You quoted this as a proof that Jesus is a Muslim. So what we can go by then, by this verse, we can see Jesus is not a Muslim since he calls God his father, right? Have you, hey, Avery, have you ever read the book? Uh, let's the, let, wait, before I get an, another question, I need an answer to my first question. This shows that Jesus is not a Muslim, right? What's the reasoning for that? I didn't hear. Is Allah the father of Jesus? No. Okay. No. If anyone says that Allah is their father, are they a Muslim? No, because you guys misquoted Jesus. Okay. So yeah. anyone who says that Allah is a father or God is their father, they are not a Muslim. Depends on the interpretation of word father in their sentence. Yeah. Oh. Uh, father, uh, can be, father can be someone who's like taking care of people or something, you know? It doesn't necessarily mean that he's like biologically their father. So I'll ask you again. Is Allah a father at all? Is he a father? No, he's not. Sense? No, he's not. Can I? He's yeah, not. let me tell you. He's so not biologically depends. a father. So how, Avery, can I ask you, how do you understand the father with relation to Jesus? Uh, what is the father in relation? It doesn't matter. Is Allah a father in any way? In any no, he's not. No, he's not. Okay, so, so but, um, let me tell you why that's, okay. let me tell you why that's important, Adam. Because, Adam, you asked an important question. Let me tell you why yep. your answer was important. Because it doesn't matter how I understand the term father in relation to Jesus. Because Allah is not a father at all. So if I but, understand him to be a father in any way, it's still wrong. You correct. But I, I don't remember making the claim that Jesus is a Muslim according to the Bible. You did. You said that no. even in, you said even in the Bible. He's even in the Bible. I said that within within my paradigm, within your paradigm, no. Right, That's so the me, difference. Yeah, no. Let me let me just rewind what you said specifically. Yeah, Adam. You said mm -hmm. that in your paradigm as a Muslim, Jesus is a Muslim because he submits to God. Even correct. in the Bible, he submits to the Father, and so he's a Muslim. Yeah, and the father <laughs> is the father is God metaphorically. But then, when you look into the Bible with your paradigm, to you, father means the literal father. Wait, wait, say, say, say that again. So Allah is a father metaphorically? No, he's not. But according to your Bible, he is metaphorically the father. Okay, but got you. So, yeah, okay. I got you. I got you. So yep. you have Allah, who's not a father, even metaphorically. Yep. Then you have here Jesus saying that God is his father, and you will say that that's metaphorically. No problem. Let's give that. Let's say it's yep. metaphorically. So still, though, Jesus is outside of Islam by teaching that God is his father, even in a metaphorical sense, right? No, but using the Quran as a criteria, I can re I can reject the part that he says he's uh, he's his father. Wait, I have wait, no problem no, with wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. You can't just, just do this for me. Mm -hmm. If we're using the verse for what it says, 
that Jesus submits to the Father. In those verses that Jesus submits to the Father, he's not a Muslim, right? You can say that, yeah, fine. Thank you. Does everybody else agree that according to the Bible, Jesus submitting to the Father would take him out of Islam, right? If it's figurative, like, here's the thing, right? Like, when it comes to when Prophet Muhammad came, things, like, a lot of rules changed. Like, before Prophet Muhammad, wine was okay to drink in small amounts, right? Prostrating mm -hmm. to other people to as respect was also uh -huh. allowed, right? Uh -huh. So calling, uh, so I'm not saying it was permissible. It could have been a possibility that was Let me show you. Well, let God me... God, to call God I, got, a I, got you. I got what you're saying. Let me put that to bed. Let me put it to bed. So, guys, his point was, is that it's possible that it was permissible once upon a time to address Allah as father or to be considered a son in some sense to Allah. Maybe, he didn't say definitely, but he said maybe it might have been permissible yeah. in that time, like back in the it's day. It's not permissible. He's, he's wrong. It's not permissible. It's not. It's not because Allah addresses in the Quran. He said the Jews and Christians say we are the sons of God. So and Allah reje oh, okay. rejects the idea. But I don't see your point, honestly, because you yourself, as a Christian, can't agree what the Father means in relation to the Son. With Psalms 2-7, God calls David his begotten Son, and elsewhere says Israel's his begotten uh -oh. Son. Uh-oh! So, so. According, so according to Psalm 2, David's not a Muslim either then, right? Since he's being called the Son of God. In your paradigm. In your paradigm. So, so according to the Psalms, David is not a, a, pro, a, a Muslim, right? In your paradigm, he is not, no. Okay, good. So we got that David is not a Muslim according to the Psalm. Jesus is not a Muslim according to the New Testament. Man, let, let, let's, let's go a step further. Let's talk about Moses. In Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 1, Moses says that the Israelites are the children of the Most High God. According to that, is Moses a Muslim? Hey, with your understanding, no. Okay, so according to the Torah, according to the Psalm... No, according, according to the Torah, Torah. hang on, hang on. According, according to the Torah, to your, according to Torah with your understanding let, let, let in your finish. paradigm. Let me finish. That's uh, fine. Finish. Let me go, man. Let me cook. Keep so, according cook. to the Torah, <laughs> according to the Zabur, the Psalms, according to oh, the no, 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 no. Who says? Who says? Wait, who's, wait, who says Psalms Zabur? Who says Psalms Zabur? Who said it's Zabur? Tell me. Who wait said it's Zabur? Wait a second. Uh, wait a second. By the way, you're yeah, crying. Yeah, just, you know, just, just let me, let me land it. Okay, I'll fine, fine. Go on. All right, I'll let y'all cook, man. Good, man. I'm just looking all over the place. Man. I will let y'all cook, man. According to the Torah, according to the Psalms, and according to the Gospel, neither Moses nor David nor Jesus the Messiah were Muslims because they all taught that God was the Father. Yo, God logic, God logic. Could you actually bring up a guy? His name is Timerson. Can you please bring him up? He's actually Timmerson. Timmerson. He's very knowledgeable. Summer Sin? Yeah. Summer Sin? I don't see a Summer Sin. Uh, S oh, I Summer Sin. Uh, yeah. All right, he's knowledgeable? All right, he's up. Do you, do you mind if you open John 3, 16? We don't need to. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yes, so God only has one begotten son. So is David yeah. also his son? Well, well, actually, actually two, Psalm two seven is about the Messiah. If you read verse two, it literally says oh, they raise up talking. against they raise up against God and His Messiah. So no, he said, "You're my son." He's talking to David. Well, at, no. So again, David is prophetically speaking of the Messiah. See, if you understand from the Bible and Messianic prophecy, it's a called a typology. David is a okay. type of Christ before he comes. Can so you open Exodus? Time, hold on, I'm trying okay, to help you. Okay, please, please, God, yeah. You'll see a lot of times where David in the psalm is speaking in first person when really he's not speaking about himself. He's speaking prophetically of the Messiah, okay? Okay, that's fine. Do you mind if you open Exodus 4.22? Oh, because we already understand this. God is a father according to all of these verses. Is Allah a father in any sense? No, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're, you're moving away. I said, but no, no, you I'm not, father no, You're the one moving away by trying to show how there's multiple sons in the Bible. I yeah. understand that. So if there's multiple so sons, sons in the Bible, have? excuse me, yeah. if there's multiple sons in the Bible, that means that the Bible, the Psalms, the Torah, Exodus, Deuteronomy, the Torah, the Gospels, they all teach an, a non-Islamic message that God is the Father, correct? In your paradigm with your understanding, yes, correct. In the correct. Bible, correct? Not my paradigm, to stop saying that. In the Bible, it teaches a non-Islamic message, correct? 
Here's what's happening here. You're no, no, just let interpreting. Him let him okay, you know what? Guys, guys, let's give it to him. I want to see what his point is. What's your point? So, do you yeah. agree? Fine, yeah. What's your point? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, boom, boom. So, here's the point here. So, even where you guys said you can go and see that Jesus is still a Muslim, like you said this, Adam, you could even okay, go yeah. to the Bible and see he's a Muslim. We That's see fine. that in the Bible, these prophets and figures are actually not Muslims, right? In the Bible. Fine, I'll concede. I'll temporarily concede. Yep, okay. All right, beautiful. So, now yep. we're back at square one. Good. How would you guys prove to me that Jesus was a Muslim? Because the Quran is a revelation from God. I mean, that's that, that's the point. I mean, you, it's, it's a circular argument. Exactly. So basically what you're telling me is, is that you can't prove to me that Jesus is a Muslim, you know, objectively, but you believe it. You believe he's a Muslim, the Quran says it, you believe it, and that's it. Wait, Moses, no, Moses, no, because no, when you prove, no, no, hang on, hang on. When you prove the Quran is the word of God, then you understand that. Do you understand? No, because again, I, I'll ask you the same question I asked the previous brother. If the Quran gets one thing wrong, let's say it got everything right, got one thing wrong, is it still the word of God? No, it is not. Okay, good. You so gotta, you're going to prove that it gets wrong. one thing wrong. What yeah. is that thing? All logic, all logic. Jesus being a Muslim, for example. Can I ask you a question? Wait, ha hang on, hang on. What, what's, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Avery, Avery, let's, let's go back on this one. You said the Quran got wrong that Jesus is a Muslim. I'm what, saying what? potentially. P potentially. Ah, now yeah. it's potentially. So why? Why is that wrong? You're going to have to give me evidence why that's well, wrong. No, no. You're going to have to give me evidence to back up y'all's claim. If you can't give me evidence, then it's false. Because we have evidence. Okay. That we're okay. Okay. That's fine. We'll, we'll look. Okay, we'll, we'll use some evidence. I mean, look, I'm going to use your scripture, right? So do you hey, believe you that? Said, you just said, according to my scripture, he's not. No, because for you, because hang on, hang on. But you said that we're going to have to use something that applies to you, right? No. We can't prove the Quran that. using the Quran. How, how do you want me to prove? Let, so let so me what be clear again, because I never okay, said that. I didn't say you got Okay, that's fine. Tell me what you mean. Let me be clear, ladies and gentlemen in the audience and to the fellas that's on the stage. My beliefs and my personal opinion does not matter here. What matters, what I'm asking for is objective truth that Jesus is a Muslim. Objective evidence, not that's something that, oh, appeals to my opinion and my personal beliefs. That's a, I'm not asking about relativism. I'm asking about objective truth. Prove okay, to so let's, let's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. So let's apply the same standard. Uh, sorry, Muslim. Do you, Muslim, do you want to quickly answer? So let's apply the same standard, right, for our doctrine that Jesus is a Muslim. Let's, so if you want to use that base doctrine, I'm going to ask you, can you give me a detailed uh, explanation of the Trinity from the Bible? It's, that's the same thing. I mean, you're, you're asking, you're asking for, for, for a definite proof. And I want to ask you a definite proof where Jesus clearly claims to be God. It's the same thing. I mean, the, the question doesn't like it. It's not, it's not, bro. So again. No, okay. Answer my question then. Where hey, give me the Trinity in the Bible? Understand what I'm asking. And let me show you how what you're doing is not, is not even close to related to what's happening. here. I am not asking you to show me where in the Quran it says Jesus is a Muslim. It's not what I'm asking. I'm asking you to prove the claim of the Quran that Jesus is a Muslim. Okay, I'm so granting you, you, I'm uh, granting you it, that the Quran says Jesus is a Muslim, that it teaches this. I'm it, granting uh, you this. I'm it, asking it, you to prove it to me, historically, this claim that Jesus is a Muslim. Show me that Jesus actually believed and practiced beliefs that go along with Islam. All right, God, God, God. could you prove that, Moses, that uh, Ibrahim existed? I'm sorry? Could you prove to me that Ibrahim existed without scripture? Uh, uh, this is besides the point. No, 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 no. It's, it's the same. Yeah, it's besides it's the, the same. Point. You're using a double standard, Avery. You're using no, a double standard. standard. Yeah, you can't yes, it's double standard because you want, you want solid proof. You want solid proof that Abraham Jesus is not Muslim. Not if Abraham was my topic, we can go into that. But that's fine, that's fine. Topic. This you want solid to proof. Topic. You want evidence that Jesus is a Muslim. Look, I have it in my scripture that you claim Jesus is, is a triune God. No, a claim is not evidence, bro. A I know. claim, Jesus was that's a Muslim. We, so you want me to ask? Like, for example, listen, just... Yeah, I get it, I get it. I get what, it. what century did Jesus live in? In the um, first century. How do you know? Exactly, so that's the thing, you're using a double standard. What do you mean I'm using so I'm saying, a double standard? Let me tell you, let me, let, can I ask, let me, just hear me out, hear me out, can you know? I speak? No, how do you know? From historical sources. What historical sources? <laughs> uh, Bible, maybe, but it, it, doesn't, ah! it doesn't change anything. It doesn't Wait, change Adam, anything. You said, you said that too fast. Say it slowly. What historical sources are you getting okay. from that Jesus I'll answer, the first century? Good. I'll answer the question in full. So, if it does not contradict no, no, no. the Quran. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. Okay, fine. Read fine. It. Look, I'm going to let you elaborate. But That's repeat fine. what you said. Okay, okay. Where, we can. What is the historical source that you're using to place Jesus in the first century? 
Okay, we can maybe use the Bible to prove that. <laughs> so what's your point? I don't understand. What's the point? What are you laughing at? Wait, hang on. No, uh, can, can you stop? Can actually stop sliding. Can I ask you the qu my question first? Because you, you keep interrupting. Like, if you don't mind, can I bro, bro, ask you the question? You what's happening. I'm no, Adam, to Adam, you. Adam, bro. Let other people speak. I think so much okay, fine, fine, say fine. Okay, fine. Go on, say. Uh, I was just gonna... Hold on, before the next Moses speaks, let me just clarify this with Adam, dude. <laughs> the reason why this is, this is important is because the Quran is making a statement on someone who existed 600 years prior, right? <laughs> Now, that doesn't alone make the, the statement false, but here's the point, is that we have earlier testament that is evidence to the contrary of what the Quran says. So because we have evidence to the contrary earlier, closer to the time, that is actually the historical, the, 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 the historical reliance by which we place Jesus in the time that he is, where he was born, where he preached, what he said, <laughs> We have historical evidence on Jesus, and if something is saying something prior uh, after that, contrary to it, we have a reason to reject the latter. So this is what I'm saying. When it comes to Abraham, the earliest sources that we have on Abraham is the Torah. So I'm not doing the same thing that I'm doing. To, it's not the same thing. The earliest source that we have of, the, of Abraham is the Torah. If you had something earlier than the Torah about Abraham that was contrary to what the Torah says, then you'll have a point and we'll have a conversation. Yeah, but on your point. yeah. so hey, let me tell you, it's, it's a fallacy again, because first you have to, as a prerequisite, you have to prove the reliability of these scriptures. The same way you asked you me prove that Jesus reliable. was a Muslim. No, I didn't. What did you I say? Did. That? You said that, oh. dude, again, yeah, you fine. yourself said that the Bible is, re is historically reliable oh, about Jesus. Oh. No, I said maybe. I said maybe we can use it, but it, it does. The information doesn't matter. That's fine. Okay, I'll, I'll take that back. No problem. But now, for you to ask me to prove that Jesus was a Muslim, I can ask you in the same way. Can you prove to me? Can you prove to me that the Bible is a reliable source? That's, that's my question subject. to you. But again, that's another. No, subject. no, 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 you're, no. Because using a double standard. Hey, hold on, Adam. Hold on, just one second. You are the one who proved to me that the Bible is a reliable source. You said... Okay, fine, I can see it. I'll take it back. That's good. I'll take it's it there? back. It's not a reliable source. It's not a reliable source. It is Wait, not. So you take it back? Yes, I take it back. That's okay. fine. Okay, okay. We'll have fun with this thing. But hold on. Just one okay, second. Yeah. Someone is saying... Hey, Answer guys, my question I, first. Go back. What's I your double standard? Wait. Hold on. Just hold on, hold on a second, Adam. Hey, guys. Uh, The comment section. Is my mic okay? Is my is my mic good? Is it peaking or is it quiet? Like, is it good? Because I'm, I'm hearing... um, I'm seeing people saying, fix your mic, Avery. Fix your mic. Are we good? Someone's listening from their phone in the call. All right, it's all right. All right, let's continue. All right, so Adam said that we can take the Bible historically reliable to place Jesus in the first century, but then he just took it back and said it's not reliable. So now we're back what? at square Possibly. one. Okay, now we're back at square one. How do you know that Jesus lived in the first century? I don't. Say that again? I don't. Okay, how do you know? Uh, let me ask you this. What language did Jesus speak? I don't know. This information doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's irrelevant because you keep, you keep giving my question. About... What's your standard, right? You said prove me Jesus is a Muslim. Now I'm going to ask you the same thing. Can you prove the, uh, the New Testament is a reliable source of information? See, it's the same the standard. Thing. You this can't prove the, it. This is, thing. this is the thing that just happened to all of you is that Adam used the Bible as a reliable historical source on Jesus. I said I, I said, take that back. Let, 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 hold on. I'm getting to that part. Mm -hmm. Once he realized that he himself proved to me that and accepted that the Bible was reliable in the historicity of Jesus. Once he saw what, what position that puts him in, he then retracted and took it back. That's why we're here now. So after acknowledging it's reliable and knowing the problems that it gives him, now he has to retract. And now he don't know nothing about Jesus. This is where we're at. When you reject the Bible, you, don't ha you have nothing. Okay. Give your that's point. What's your point? What's your point? The point is, is you know nothing about Jesus, about his religion, what he taught, what he practiced, without the Bible. And you no, I don't, I don't need Bible. to. No, 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 no. Go the ahead. Quran is sufficient. The Quran is sufficient. Uh, okay, you wanna, okay, good. But you keep, Quran, you keep moving from the point. You keep okay. moving from the point. You haven't okay. answered my question. I got you. The Quran yeah. is sufficient. Beautiful. Correct. How did Jesus pray? I don't know. Oh, I thought the Quran is sufficient. No, when, hang, yeah, Quran is sufficient. I, what, what's your argument? I don't understand. The Muh Muhammad taught us how to pray. What's, I don't know. What is your I'm point? Because you keep saying, you, she said, you, me, Jesus is a Muslim, and now I you're coming to the Bible. I'm telling you I don't, let me, let, that let me. the Quran okay, is insufficient. 
I am showing you. Sing it with me. That the Did Pokemon that? is insufficient. Listen, go on, go on. Come on, Tom, hit that note with me. Go. The Quran go. say the Quran. Go. Go. Quit, quit. The Quran is insufficient. Wait, wait, I have a question. Come on, let's all harmonize together. The Avery, you keep sleeping. You keep sleeping. You, 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 look. I've answered all your questions. You, you've like, I have three questions unanswered. You've answered nothing. C can you answer my questions at least? What do you mean I've answered nothing? I've literally. You have answered my question. I said, why do you, why do you impose, why do you impose a different standard for my you proof are, and your proof? You are literally in my box. I showed you. Avery, it, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything when you say that. Can you, can you, you haven't answered my questions. Adam. Two questions. Adam. Okay, so if you, you want to prove, you want to prove that, wait, answer wait, wait, my questions now. Adam, 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 real quick. Um, I just want to say something. I, I, I'm not like trying to make a claim. I just want to see what you think about that. Uh, this Avery. What if we just posited that, we, that Jesus lived in the first century because of historians like Josephus and people like that? Oh, nice. Josephus puts Jesus in the first century. So this is what this is what I would ask you. Sure. Is Josephus a reliable historical source on the life of Jesus? Well, he's a historian who was around that who's around there right so yeah i'd say so, that if we if we take word of mouth to be a valid source of information then yeah i guess so very good so mm -hmm. if jesus is i'm sorry if josephus is reliable historical source mm -hmm. of the life of jesus then you yeah. have to accept that he was crucified because, not really because josephus says that jesus was crucified under pontius pilate yeah, but the thing is with that, he's making a historical claim. We would say that Jesus is being saved is a theological claim. Well, well he's putting he's putting a no wait no he's putting a historical claim yeah. on Jesus being in the first century as well, saying that somebody mm -hmm. named Jesus was walking around and people mm -hmm. said that he was doing miracles. All of this is historical. Yeah, we affirm that. We okay. affirm that we so affirm then, that people believe that he was crucified as well. So there's there's no context. So then, well, it's not that just that they believe it; it's just that this is the fact that Pontius Pilate <laughs> was the Roman prefect at the time. And he had Jesus crucified. You have to believe that if you say Josephus is reliable. No, I don't. I'm saying historically speaking, people believe that. Therefore, historically speaking, people, that, that people would believe that now as well. But so I'm historically saying, speaking, so okay, I got you. So yeah. historically speaking, yeah, okay. So it's historically accurate that Jesus was crucified on the cross, right? If by historically accurate you mean that people attested to that, then yeah, sure. That that everyone knew that it was Jesus who was crucified. I wouldn't say everyone, but a majority, sure. Yeah, well, I mean, the historic, the reliable sources say that Jesus yeah. was crucified, right? Yeah, but a historian saying something does not necessitate that everyone believed that, but, mo but majority, no, sure. I, I'm not talking about everyone. Just focus. Well, you, you said everyone. Focus. <laughs> Thanks, I, I did, but that wasn't the okay. point. The point then, was reliability. The point uh -huh. is reliability. Okay. The point is, is that Joseph, Josephus is reliable when it comes mm -hmm. to the life of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So that would mean that Joseph... That it's it's a reliable fact in his history that mm -hmm. Jesus was crucified under Pontius Pilate. If Josephus is your source, mm -hmm. has a reliable information of Jesus, he Did would it? have he would have empirical evidence for both of these events. Yes, but I'm saying when it comes to Jesus being saved from the cross, that's a theological that's a theological claim. So this right. will be a, a theological claim that goes that is anti-history, right? It's anti-historical. Yeah. It'd be anti what they what they what they claim, yeah. So it's no no no. It's anti historical, right? Mm -hmm. Again, if, if you define histori histor historical historical accounts as things that people just saw and believed, then yeah, it historical would be facts. Thing. People people are 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 talking about facts here. Yeah, the historical facts is what people see and believe. Right? Okay, so the historical fact is that Jesus mm -hmm. was on that cross and got crucified, uh -huh. and so, and so the Quran, or you're saying it's a theological, it's a theological. Uh, Claim, it's, the, right? it's the same thing that with Psalms that, that Jesus was, was actually saved. It was the same thing with Psalms that you in this debate. Yeah, so it's, it's a theological thing versus yeah. So your so your theology goes against history. My theology goes against what people believed in history. Yes. No, 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 not that. No, don't do that. Your I, theology. I'm specifying for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's your theology. No, don't no, because what you're doing is when you specify, you're actually going away from what you said. I'm not. Your your theology goes against history. Is that that's correct? Well, if it, that's, that's if it exactly appeared to them that Jesus was crucified, nothing goes against each other. Yeah. So yeah, it's because the Quran says it appeared to them that Jesus was crucified. Hence, mm -hmm. history could have gotten it wrong and said Jesus was crucified. If, I, and I he know. Couldn't I, have I'm crucified. granting that. I'm granting that. So your theology is saying that history is wrong, therefore going against history, right? It doesn't go against it. It doesn't contradict it. That's the thing. Uh, uh, no, wait, what? Wait. Matter no, 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 no
Avery, when he says when he says it does not contradict the history, he means the fact that the Quran says they believed so. If somebody, if people believed something, it's going to have, it's going to, uh, it's going to necessitate that they would record this, and then later on, people would see that historical fact. Yes. However, the Quran makes a theological claim saying, however, even though they believed this and saw this, what actually happened was X. Right. Okay. I, right. So okay. the historical claim and the historical fact is that Jesus was crucified under Pontius Pilate. The mm -hmm. Quran comes later and says, ah, 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 it actually was made to appear so. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you guys think it was Jesus, that's, that's correct, but that's only because Allah made you think that, right? Wait, say that again, I'm sorry? The only reason why that the historical claim is what it is is because Allah made them think that, that Jesus was crucified, right? It never Allah, said Allah made them Allah think. Made it says them it appeared to them that right. Jesus was right. crucified. It never who, says who Allah made, directly who, made it appear to them appear? that Jesus was crucified. Uh, that's who? irrelevant. That, that's not irrelevant. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, that's the, not maybe relevant. the people that relevant. crucified him brought someone that looked like Jesus and crucified him. Who, who made it appear? Allah. What's Maybe the, the point? people. So, all right, somebody said Allah made it appear. Tom's saying something different. Help me out. I'm confused. Yeah, yeah. Allah, Allah protected. It says in the Quran, Allah protected it from death. What's your point, though? I don't understand. You're trying so, to move away from the topic. Tom, do you agree that Allah is the one who made everybody think? I'm saying. That it was... I'm saying there's possibilities. <laughs> it's not like. God logic. Can we go back to the topic, please? Can we go back to the topic? Wait, God logic. You know, is Jesus a Muslim? But you we're moved on, on so we're much. On we're on the top. We're on the top. Fellas, 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 fellas. We are on the topic that your theology goes against history. No, the no, we want the topic. Is Jesus a Muslim? Okay, okay, no, wait, here's wait, the point wait, with this. Your theology, you can have your beliefs about something, right? You can have your faith in this and what your Quran mm -hmm. says and teaches. But here's the point. Your Quran and you, what it says, what you believe in, your theology goes against history. History. Okay. Okay. God, 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 God logic. God logic. I, have a I want to like. I don't. I'm, this. I'm trying to give like an example. I guess. So who's, do you? Who's speaking? Do, by the way, who's speaking? The Marsons. Marsons. Oh. Okay. Nice do you that. think? And it's not to be you as well. Do you think that the um, Exodus or the globe flooding is a historical, or do you think it's something that's a plausible histor historically? I don't know. Because what, what does that have to do with this? If 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 you were to say no, as a lot of historians and people, I can as secular academics say, then you would have to admit that your Bible goes against history, right? So you're changing the subject on the no other. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying if Analogy. you if if you want to be if um, if you want to stay consistent, this example, which is analogous to what you would say, would then have to would then cause a problem for you, right? It's, it's no, not a typical case. I hear what you're saying. The answer would be no, because we have a if if we went into that subject. I can, we can go into that, and I can show mm. you the historicity of the Noah, of Noah's flood and stuff like that. I can do that. Sure. So, can you guys so, show me the historicity of Jesus being a Muslim? Can y'all do that? I just I is just, is it impossible that it. that could have happened? That's the thing. So, wait, is it an impossibility that it was I made? Wait, I don't wait. I don't wait. Okay. So the same. Forget even the flood. Could you prove that the Exodus numbers are not a historical? I I can prove that they are historical. Okay. Do that. No, I'm not. That's not our subject. Eh. I know. You're but trying I'm to saying, run away from the subject. I'm, I'm not. I'm saying if we can, we can finish that about the whole Exodus thing, that would then necessitate that you are not being consistent. No, it wouldn't, because I'm it saying that I can show you historically that the mm -hmm. Exodus took place when the Exodus happened. I'm saying I can do that for you. Okay, now, can you do, you so. do for me what I'm asking you? Can you show me historically that Jesus was a Muslim? But I'm. So do you base all your beliefs from history? I don't know. It's a I'm historical sorry. claim, man. I don't know. Should be. You mind if I ask a question quickly? Sorry, just quickly. Uh, wait. So do do you have historical evidence that Jesus ascended? Yes, we have the New Testament. We have the earliest record of Jesus' life. Hey, isn't that circular reasoning though? Yeah, it <laughs> no. is. No, no. Let me show you why it's not. The reason why it's not circular reasoning to use the New Testament as a source for Jesus, it's because it's the primary source and the earliest sources that we have on the life of Jesus. So it's not circular reasoning. It's using what passes the historical method. It's early testimony, early test attestation, uh, uh, primary sources um, and, and individual sources, all appointed to and reporting on the life of Jesus. That's why. And so all of these individual sources talk about Jesus ascending. But you have to prove why they are uh, reliable sources. That's the thing. I, I, so, so again, 
Early to attestation. It doesn't mean anything. Variety of att attestation. Wait, early Independent attestation. attestation. Early these attestation. are these are Wait, some of the it, these are some of the historical methods and the tests that the that the New Testament passed. To be counted as historical reports. God logic. This is kind of wait, wait, wait. God logic. This is kind of ironic. I watched the Wasam debate when it happened. Why didn't you use these things against Wasam? Use the who? And against who? With this debate. This these please. This process of figuring out the historicity of the Bible against this Wasam. You appealed to the Wasam. You didn't really use the the Bible. Oh, at all. oh, oh no. This is this wasn't the conversation with Wasam. With with, with Wasam. It, it, it was. With, with Wasam. The the topic was. Is the Bible is the Bible reliable with the, especially with the Quran's view in it? Okay, so what so what, what, Wasam, so what Wasam wanted to do is he asked him, how do you know that Matthew that the gospel writers uh, authors uh, were the authors? And so that's what I told him. Bro, it that's wasn't that's how it's wait, 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 wait. That would that would be simply analogous. So, so please stop trying to lie about our conversation with Wasam. Like, we got the, you can you can like, he read it from not trying to deal wait, with wait, we can we can destroy, destroy, you can <laughs> wait wait you can wait 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 so now so hold on so now that we're that we're all up to date can you guys stop wasting my time and show me that Jesus was a Muslim? All right, Avery, you said Historical. early attestation. You said early attestation. What's the earliest attestation? Well, Sam told you this. Yeah, thank you. So go ahead. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the uh, the writings of the apostles, these are the earliest sources that we have on Jesus' life. Um, I said early attestation for the, the Gospels. Yeah. Yes. So now, can you show me that Jesus was a Muslim? I just asked the that question. Early yeah. The, can you show me that Jesus was a Muslim now? I, I asked you a question. You can't ask me a question. Can you show me that Jesus was a Muslim? Stop trying to run, bro. Wait, are you, no, because you were talking You're about... You're mixing the word else. Muslim with Islam. I already told you and you I'm not. like yeah, on no, this I'm point. Yes, you this are. You are real mixing. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Muslim no, no, is no. applying to anyone wait, that wait, follows wait. God and submits to him. Wait, 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 wait. What I want to say, what I want to say is I wanted to add this point earlier. When it comes to being a Muslim, right? It is not... If you're a Muslim before the Prophet Muhammad, it does not necessitate that you have to follow all the laws he did to be a Muslim, right? Because there, there were laws that were different before the Prophet, and that's something that, 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 that biblical scripture affirms as well, all right? So just because, the, just because it's like the whole father thing. I know Adam disagrees with me, but when it, actually, I don't think we know for sure when it comes to me. But when it comes to the father, I could, I could, we could just posit that the, fa the term father was something that was, that, that was given, but because of the fact that people would just misconstrued it and, and did not really understand it, Allah revoked it because of that fact. So he wouldn't. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters to be honest. Uh, because but, wait, 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 wait a second. So someone made that point earlier, actually. Now, do you all agree that once upon a time it was okay to call Allah your father? I don't think so. No. It, it doesn't matter if there's a. It, it doesn't matter. It, it is. It doesn't add to your point because now can I ask you my question again? If you want, if you want a, a, a undeniable proof that Muhammad, that, that Jesus was a Muslim, right? So then, if we apply the same logic to your Bible, you're gonna have to provide me undeniable truth that the New Testament is the Word of God, right? So it's if you can't provide that, then you means you're using a double, uh, double standard. Are you guys trying to skip over the issue here? My no, no, friend, because you're using my, a double standard. My friend on the bottom here said that it was possible. That Allah used to be a father, and it was okay to call him a father once upon a time. Adam, you disagree with that. I Who disagree. do I go with now? Well, because you, can, you go with the Quran, and Allah says, could, and the Jews and Christians say, "We're the sons of God." Yo, Adam, Wait, Avery, 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 you address me and give a counterpoint to me. Wait, you, you, you cut out. What, what happened? My you agree? I, I said you already addressed him. You could just like address me now instead and do a counterpoint. Well, no, Adam is addressing you. Adam gave a verse to prove his point. Yeah, no, the, the disagreement we have is makes it doesn't really matter at all. So do you so do you still hold to your position or are you still no 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 but what I said exactly was I don't know exactly, but we could just pause it then. What would be the problem with that? Oh, so you can you can innovate something, you can commit bidder. Who said innovate something? Well, so when you innovate something, it means come up with something new on your own, uh that, that wasn't there in the first place. It's called bidda. It's when you, you are now saying, Oh yeah, you know, I could posit that Allah used to be a father. When your Quran, your scholars, and your Hadith never say such. Wait, do you know what the difference between Bidda and Bidda Sharia is? What is it? But do you know? What is it? I'm asking, do you know? Nope, I don't know. What is it? Okay, <laughs> okay then don't say that because. No, what is it? If 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 you want, if you say that, then you'd also be. What what is it? Tell me. Allah would make Bidda as well. Ed ed educate us. Tell me. Okay, Bidda. Um, from my knowledge of uh, uh Sharia. Okay, knowledge. Yeah, I, I, am I gonna tell you outside of my knowledge? What do you mean from no, my knowledge? Yeah, when you say when you say to my knowledge, it kind of implies that you're unsure a little bit. No, no, it implies that if I'm wrong, then someone can correct me. That's what it implies. So, are you sure about what the definition of bitter that you're about to give? I'm I'm sure, but if I'm wrong, okay, go ahead, give it to us. That's what I'm saying. 
I'm saying when it comes to bid'ah, uh-huh. bid'ah is not just adding something, right? Because Umar Qutab, um, when he does made, bid'ah uh, include adding something? Just let him speak. Yeah, it does include something. Wait, wait. So was I correct when I gave the example of bid'ah and accused you of doing uh, of, of bid'ah innovation? No, because it's a distinction between bid'ah sharia and regular bid'ah. Wait, but you just affirmed that you said bid'ah is not only adding. So mm-hmm. I was talking about bid'ah in the sense of adding. So I was mm-hmm. correct about bid'ah, wasn't I? Linguistically, not in the sharia. Yeah. Oh, that's that's why I that's actually why I asked Ooh, you. The okay, because... tell us the Wait, difference. Did I, don't, did I, did please, I don't, not don't tell ask me something that affirms me. Tell me the difference I... between the bid'ah that I just accused you of, adding uh-huh. to your text, your hadith, your scholars. Tell me mm-hmm. the difference. What's the difference? For one, bid'ah sharia in most cases usually adding something whether that be in fiqh and or aqidah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, say that again. It's adding to what? To fiqh or aqidah. In most yeah, cases. and what is, what is aqidah? What is that? Aqidah is theology. Oh, so it, it, does Allah being a father have something to do with aqidah? Did, did, uh, did I finish? Yeah, it does. Uh, Please answer. Does it does. Allah being a father have something to do with aqidah? Yeah. Oh, but did I, but did I finish? So, my, so you're describing the exact bidda that I defined that you're committed. But I didn't finish the definition. Bro, man. I didn't. Fi- that's like me asking. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. That's like, wait, wait, wait. Somebody that's help like me. That's like me asking. Wait. Somebody help him. That's like Somebody me. Help him. That's, like Somebody me. Help him. that's wrong. He's not. Look, it, it, it's irrelevant. It's honestly it's irrelevant. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's it's irrelevant. Wait, wait, wait. Look, because the father. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's irrelevant when the Muslim gets proved wrong. No, no. Yes, no. It's no way. Adam, 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 One, two, three, four, Adam. five, six of you guys, man. Hold on. Let, this ain't enough. Wait, Hold on. Wait, wait. No, Gala, Everybody Gala, Gala. Who, Who's trying to speak? Yeah, trying to speak? Wait, let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Who's trying to speak? How, 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 me. Let me speak. Because okay, hold, hold your thought, bro. It's going to be your turn, okay? But let me just, like, you guys need some help, man. How? I mean, wait, wait, y'all need help. How did I? Okay. Now it's seven. Halfway, how are you gonna act like you kill someone? By the way, eat. seven is the number of completion. So now it's seven of you guys. Y'all should be able to help each other out. Oh, Galaji, Galaji, Galaji. 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 Really? Okay. So, all, right, all right, stop, stop right there. I, I like guys like you. I love guys like you. Nobody say anything. Uh, uh, Muslim man, I accuse him of bidder. What is bidder? I'm not not on the topic. Oh wait, wait, wait stop. Wait, wait, wait. Else, hey, the next person that interrupts, I'm gonna kick you. I don't want to, but I will. Let Muslim man talk for a second. No, he wanted to speak. That's what is bidder? Avery, I, I ah. want to ask you your original question, but if you're asking me what bidder, like, all right. <laughs> So I told you the next person that speaks, I'm going to remove you. You're still here, though, uh, Sasserin. I'll bring you back up once you respect what I just said. Muslim man, what is bidda? I'm not knowledgeable on this topic, so that's why So I'm then gonna... how do you know if I cooked them or not? Yeah, because you didn't. Because Simerson... Re- Tell no... me how... If you're not knowledgeable, how do you know if, whether or not your boy got cooked? What? Because you didn't let me speak. Let me do a slow. You didn't let me speak. If you're not knowledgeable... How he, do you even have the comprehension he to know to, whether or not your boy made a flaw and I called him out on it? Correct me if, if I'm wrong, but Simerson, correct me if I'm wrong, but he was talking about Simerson was talking about Sharia a lot. It was, it was when it comes to bid'ah. Yeah, so I'll tell you. Let me help. About, you. Look, look, this is what I do, man. I'm the shape. I'm the shape. I'm gonna not, help you all out. I'm gonna help you. He said that the bid'ah that I was accusing him of is different from bid'ah according to Sharia, and so I said, okay, tell no. us the difference. And as he began to tell me the difference, he literally was describing exactly what I said. No, that bit of innovation he adding no, to Akita and Fiqh. You didn't did, did 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 so. Just let him finish, bro. Just let him finish, bro. Ah, let him finish. Man, so if I were you, leave this thing out. If I were you, I just I'd hold my hands up and be like, "Yo, bro, not looking good." Like what Sam said, let's leave this penis out the window. Let him let him finish. I bet. I bet. I bet. Hey, so so I, I mean it, it's interesting. You were you were quiet a lot. You wanted to come up, but you was quiet a lot. You have a lot to say, but now it's your turn. It's your turn right now. Who prove that he's a, prove that Jesus is Muslim because he's wasted. The other guy's wasting my time. You prove that he's a Muslim, Muslim man. 
Because you're a Muslim man. You, I, you're a Muslim I, man. Can I finish my definition? Just let him finish. Oh. No. Show me. Prove that Jesus is a Muslim. Are you running? Are you running? No, I think you're only from Samaritan, but okay. okay. Let me let me let me remove you and get somebody else who's man enough to actually engage in the conversation. Muslim, <laughs> you're up. Muslim man, you're out. Hey, Saudi's here. What's up, Saudi? Yo, What's Avery, up, bro? how you doing, my brother? Can good. you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. So to be fair, um, on on Anwar was finishing his definition. Go ahead, Anwar. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear all of you. Go ahead, Anwar. Yeah, so what I was gonna say was Sharia, according to Sharia, according to Ibn Saymin. Um, Bidah is just worshipping Allah in ways that's not been prescribed. Say that one more time. Bidah is worshipping Allah in ways that's not been prescribed. Ah. <laughs> Bidah is worshipping Allah in ways that has not been prescribed. Now mm -hmm. watch this, ladies and gentlemen, for the Muslims who are too slow to understand what a cooking is. Watch this. Was it prescribed to worship Allah as a father? Not in so, not in stop, stop, stop. Not him, Saudi, I promise you'll get your turn. This okay. is for him. Mm -hmm. Say, go ahead, Anwar. Not in, not in the revelation of Muhammad, bro. Not in the revelation of Muhammad. Yeah. Was it prescribed to worship Allah as a father in the revelation of Jesus? That's something that we'd be ag agnostic of. That's why I said we could just pause it. Oh, you're being agnostic of it. So you don't know. That's, that's so why. So you so don't wait, know. That's so let me, literally. Wait, that's literally. Let me, let me say this. If you were if you were to even suggest such a thing, something that is not prescribed or suggested, <laughs> is that adding to the way to worship Allah? No, I'm not worshiping Allah in that way. No, it's not. It's no, not I didn't ask say that you're worshiping Allah in that way. But that's the if definition. You, of listen to the question again. You're not listening. If you, since you're saying you don't know about how Allah is supposed to be worshipped in the Injil, by the way, showing that the Quran's not detailed and explained in another way. But if you don't know how Jesus taught how to worship Allah and as a father or not a father, and you suggest, you make a suggestion that maybe it was permissible to worship Allah as a father in a prior revelation, is that adding? Not in the way you're worshiping him, worshiping him no. So if it doesn't say worship Allah as a father, if it's silent on that, and you suggest that you suggest that worshiping Allah as a father was okay. If you suggested, not saying that it was, but if you suggested, is that suggestion in addition? Not in the way you're worshiping him. No, you're taking one part of the definition and trying to make it seem like what a, a what what thing. what a bro. What are you? Well, man, what 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 we doing here, man? You, you're taking one part of the definition. What what, what are we doing here? You're taking the, the one part wait, of the definition on. and applying. Hold on, it. Anwar. Since you're being this dishonest. Define for me addition. What does it mean to add? What is an addition? Again, addition alone is not what I'm speaking about. I said addition the way you worship Allah. You can't just take good. Away. So again, an addition in the way that you worship Allah. Mm -hmm. What so does addition pause, mean? Tell me, I, what does addition I, mean? If, wait, if I pause it, that they could have happened. That's not addition the way. Answer I the question. It. What does addition mean? Addition is adding something. Good. So addition, adding. <laughs> Adding a way to worship Allah that hasn't been prescribed, correct? No, it's in the way you worship Allah. You're now you're misconstruing what I said. But you're saying you're suggesting, you're mm -hmm. adding this suggestion where it's silent on this. You are adding your suggestion that it probably was permissible to worship Allah as a father. Is that the is that that's that called because you're adding to the worship of Allah? No, it's not. Wait, it's not. Is, wait, wait, wait. J -j -j logic. Is it adding to the way I worship Allah? You're adding to the way that it probably was worshipped. That's what okay, we're just saying. Am I adding to the way I worship Allah? Not, not that you. Can but I answer this? That, 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 that is the exact definition Past I people. That is the exact Can definition I, answer this? I, I know the answer. Past I know people. The answer to this. It's the good enough to say, yeah, they can worship. They, it was okay for them to worship Allah as a father back okay, then. When just, back then, it wasn't prescribed. Okay, but That's you just admitted. Admit 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 All right, who's next? I, can I answer this, please? You just admitted that's not going against the definition I gave you. Yo, brothers, all right, listen, half of Dean, if you don't know, you keep quiet, yeah? And that's no disrespect to any of you brothers, but don't just come in here and have a go. Let me tell you something, uh, Avery. First of all, you're a very worthy opponent. You're a very clever Christian amongst many of the Christians I've chatted to. I'm not here to disrespect you 
or any of or any other Christians here, yeah? In terms of answering your question directly, I actually want to go to your original point because I think we've deflected and gone on to all different things. So we'll go back yeah, to we, your we original switch, point. In, we, switch, yeah? we switch gears because look, this, this is the title of my room. The title yeah. of the stream today is, um, you know, you guys have no answers for these arguments. I have an answer. I have an answer for you. Okay, so, you have an, you have, so you have an answer. We're, we're on something right now. So you have an yeah. answer for Jesus being a Muslim? I, I have an answer, but should we just deal with the question that you just asked about Bidah, yeah? Our, our, our ulama, our scholars, have said in the past, in the past Sharia's, yeah? Remember, Islam is a continuation of past messages. So we have the revelation of Moses. He had his own Sharia. We had, Jesus was a, a, a Jew. And you, you know that, I know that, yeah? So in, it was permissible, according to the ulama, to use words like father as, as for God. That is in our books, okay? If father doesn't mean the he like a, a man sitting on a heavenly throne with white hair and looking down. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm sorry, I kind of missed it. You're saying that it, back then it was permissible to call yes. God? Yes, so, every, so when the Prophet ﷺ came, he came with a new Sharia. Now the innovation and the bid'ah you're talking about is, is to do with Islam. It's not, it's not nothing to do with the past Sharia. So as, as a brother said earlier, for example, in the past, it was permissible to drink wine. Now, in the new Sharia, it is not permissible to drink wine. Similarly, in the past, the, the term father was permissible. Now, it would not be deemed permissible. Do you gotcha. understand? Does, does, does I understand. I understand you. So now let me ask the rest. Do you guys agree that in the past, it was permissible to call Allah Father when you worshipped him? I don't know. I haven't researched. But if, uh, if, if our brother here is correct, then perhaps. Yeah. Uh, Garland, you come going to leave. Please ask Suleiman. I need, I need clear answers, man. I can't. Is it? They don't, you know, they agree? Think they don't know, bro. I'm telling yeah. you. If, if the ulama say that, then sure. There's no. Not Sadi. Suleiman. Suleiman. Please ask Suleiman. I'm going to leave. Yeah, so I got a, I got a, I got a good I got a good point to make on this uh, argument. Pull out twenty one Quran twenty one, uh, Quran twenty one twenty six. What does it say? It says that they have said that the most merciful has begotten a son. Uh, the, uh, Subhana, glory be to him. But there are servants brought uh, to honor. That's so it's not. To, that's referring to angels, by the way. No, no, no. If they say it, just pull it up. Pull it up. Have her, every put it, pull it up. Yeah, I just look at the tafsir. Just find the angels. But it, even if even if it says the angels, but then it's it's not disagreeing that people call Allah the Father. So yeah, he's he's not about. he's not. But get the point I'm making. Listen to the point I'm making. Hey, hey hold on, hold on. Uh, side, side of your mic is a little too loud. You mind? Is it possible okay. for you to turn it down a bit? All right, all right. Is that better for you? A little bit, yeah. Now go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So he's saying that Subhana, glory, it, glory be to God. Yeah, turn it on some more. It's it's really loud. Turn okay. It on maybe I'm maybe I'm talking too loud, but yeah, he's saying Subhana. Subhana means glory be to Allah, but their servants brought near, brought to honor. So, okay, they saying that Allah has begotten a son. You got louder. Glory be. Please pull up that verse so they can address that. Yeah, if I, they just, say I just looked at it. Again, there's no contradiction in what I brought up in, in that regarding that verse. Huh? There's no contradiction in what I said what I said regarding that verse. No, no, no. So my, my the point I was making is you know, I, we know, could, I know the point you're making, I know. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm yeah. Saying, but I'm saying if yeah. they if I'm saying if we just pause the fact that they could have taken it literally or misconstrued it, which is why it said like begotten and begotten can just like they can but they can people can like say that begotten begotten just means like oh, hey, can we go to the brother. original topic? You know this what you originally asked before you got everyone around. Sadi, what's, the, what's the point? Let's go to because we're jumping around. Let's get to your we're, we're you right here. Very good we're question. on the we're on the main points. So We're on the main you, point the, right now for, of the for the, the audience who've come late, Avery, and for the brothers in the chat here that on right, can you just get the original point that you asked at the start of the stream? Unless it's let's proving that Jesus is a Muslim. That's where we're at right now, bro. Okay. You said you said in the Quran it mentions dude, Jesus. Dude, dude. We're at dude. the conversation of Jesus being a Muslim. We've moved past that. All right? No, we haven't. Well, yes, we have. Because, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know this was your stream, Adam. No, nah, because I, I want to. 
I just want to know what your point is with regard to the father. I, I, like, I, I, uh, I didn't know that this was any of y'all. Y'all, y'all, let me know. Am, am I? Am no, I able it's to your stay? stream. It is your stream. Your stream. I'm just curious. Okay. I respectfully okay. ask. Okay, so it is my stream. Okay, guys. So let guess what? We are on Jesus being a Muslim. We yeah. will okay. we will navigate the conversation when I see fit that this conversation is done. Are we all clear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. So let's keep going. You said that it's in your books that Allah used to be a father. Can you please provide that for me? I said the ulama have said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is known. It says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has 99 names. But uh -huh. ulama have said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't have only 99 names. Yeah. Uh -huh. So there were many more names and uh -huh. every nation was sent a prophet. And the mm -hmm. prophets and the messengers would speak to people in their own languages. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it won't say, it might not necessarily, they didn't come and say, oh, Allah, Allah, in every single language. Because, you know, but people spoke in different ways. And the ulama have said, father was permissible back in there. But that has now been abrogated. Yeah. Can you Allah. show me that? What? It's, uh, it's in the Aqidah book. So. If you, yeah. if you, uh, it'll probably be too late for you to read this, but it's a very long discussion. But there's the Aqidah of the Muslims by Sheikh Hamza Yusuf and Dr. Umar Farooq Abdullah, who are American Muslims, and they've done a whole course on this. These are Americans. The American no. Muslims. Is, is, is there Muslims. Some, you said the ulama said, what, what, is it, what does ulama mean? Help me out here. What does ulama mean? Ulama, okay, give me. Ulama are, are scholars, are past scholars, yeah? People right, are, so are these, are are these. Are these heavy scholars like Tabari, Qurtubi, Ibn Kathir, people like this, Ibn Abbas? Many, many, many. They many, would not many. be okay. considered so can, you, can you show me, can you show me that in early Islam, they are affirming that it was once okay, it was once permissible that Allah was a father? I can, I, I've told you, I've given you reference to the actual lecture. But if you're asking me directly, give me a few minutes. Let's so I'll let someone else speak. I'll see if okay, I can. Yes, I, I need I need the actual source. Okay. All right. So as he gets that, somebody else can probably jump in. Can anyone help me? Prove Jesus is a Muslim to me, man. Can you answer my question before about your double standard? Does anyone new want to speak? Because it looks like uh, Adam has, has nowhere to go here. Or I'm more. Yeah, Muslims, should, they would not be considered the older man, my guy. The older man would be like people like Sheikh Fadim if it was that. If it, if it, yeah, I, I have to. That's the thing. I have to disagree with his father point because I, I can't find anything. It, it doesn't really matter. No, yeah, I, oh, I, yeah, yeah. I think it's. I oh, think it doesn't when matter. it comes when it comes it to the whole when it comes to whole bringing Sheikh Hamza Yusuf as the older man, I disagree with that entirely. Yeah, yeah, I I, I agree <laughs> with the brother here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you you could look at people like Sheikh Fadim of Fawzan. Yeah, Ibn Taymiyyah. It, it didn't take me as a little late, but I guess him too, yeah. But like picking people like him, uh, mm -mm. so I, you guys I'm are not saying, saying that they're the ones that are, are the ulema. I'm saying they've referred to past ulema, okay. And like, what I'm trying to do is just find their favorite. But I want to know what your point is. Like, why does it matter that the Bible says uh, God is like Jesus refers to God as our Father? So this is the entire point. Yeah. The historical evidence that we have on Jesus' life tells us what he believed, taught, language he spoke, all of that. Okay? The historical records that we have teaches that says that Jesus taught that God was his father. So okay. historically, when it comes to Jesus' theology, he wasn't a Muslim. So the claim that Jesus was a Muslim is a false claim. But you're missing a part here. We have to prove that those scriptures are reliable before you can make that. You already claim. did. You again back how many times are we gonna go in this loop? You already admitted that the Bible was reliable in Jesus' life. I said I took that back. Okay, so then we're at back at square one. Before you try to jump in anywhere, you have to tell me again how you know Jesus lived in the first century. But then with the same way, I can ask you, can you show me that Jesus is God? Do you, you have the same thing. You have can you show me that? Wait, that's wait, wait, no, honestly. Wait, because Adam, if you ask me that question... Uh, I, already, I already told him. We already, he couldn't go against the whole freaking scholars of the first century and around there who attested that what well, I, 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 I utilized the josephus you quoted josephus and i said yeah. great let's use josephus josephus says jesus yeah. was crucified historically showing yeah. again that your theology is anti-historical 
And th so if you define historical as the things that people believe, then I would, yes, affirm that. But then I also gave you a counterpoint. No, not what people, people believed. It's historical facts, historical reports, facts. Are historical, reports, are historical reports not what people believe? It's not just what people believe. It's reports, bro. It's what they believe. It's what they reliable saw. reports. Is it what they believe? On people's lives and information. Is, is it location? Is it, is it places, belief? Dates. Is, is it what they saw and what they believe? What's wrong with you? Are you okay? Is it, uh, uh, is it, is it wait? Is it what they saw and what they believe? Are you okay? Is it what they saw? No, and what no, they no, believe? I'm, I'm tired of wasting my breath with you, bro. No, just, no, just, no, is, no, it, is it what they saw and what they believe? Tell, tell me this, bro. How did Jesus pray? Is it what the? Uh, tell this, me, tell why me, how are you going away from the point? How did Jesus pray? Why he went Afternoon. Pray? Thank you, Adam. He doesn't know. What why about you, you Anwar? How did Jesus wait, pray? Why are you going away from the point? How did Jesus pray? This is why, the point. Why are you, no, it's not. I gave you a point with, with Okay, you got about 10 seconds to be able to answer the question. I'll bring up another Muslim who maybe Look, engaged. it doesn't matter. I'm trying to give you a point. You kick me. It doesn't matter. All right, beautiful. So one, two, how did Jesus four, pray, three, bro? four, five. I don't care, bro. Go to baby. All right, peace. Away from so that's another Muslim that got cooked and baked and boiled. Who's next? Jesus, Jesus prostrated. How do you know that? One second, let me pull this over real quick. What's How going you on, y'all? So I think I think that's widely accepted by Christians and by Muslims that Jesus prostrated. You know, okay. there's practices practices of the early church prostration. Uh, and in Islam, obviously, you know, they prostrate in their prayers. So therefore the, uh, obviously they got this from Muhammad, right? Um, but from what the Islamic standpoint is, um, there is no, I don't, I don't see too much of a clear link, but the prophets, it's a succession of prophets, right? How, how, hey, so how do, you, how do you know, Max, how do you know that Jesus prostrated? How do I know that Jesus prostrated? Yeah. Uh, I believe there's verses in the Bible that uh, that cover that. that. Very good. That, right? So the Bible is what tells you how Jesus practiced his religion, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh so God. when Jesus prostrated, who did he prostrate to specifically? What did he call him? The Father. Beautiful. Is Allah the Father of Jesus? Is Allah the father of Jesus? Define God father. is God. Define Let, father. Him answer. Let him enter. Is Allah the father of Jesus, Matt? So, I mean, God is the father of Jesus. Then you're not a Muslim. No, it depends on what you mean by father. It depends on what you mean by father. You're not you're not a Muslim if you say that that God is the father of Jesus, uh, Max, because the Quran is very clear and emphatic about those who say Jesus is the son of God. You know, it says that God's Allah's curse is upon them and he is against those who say such things. You get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. Yeah. So that would mean if, if Jesus, if God is the father of Jesus and that's what Jesus is teaching, then that shows that he's not a Muslim. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense. Yep, so that's my whole point, bro. Jesus ain't a Muslim. Can't be. And I will prove that Islam is false then. So what if we can prove that the Bible is not a reliable source of information? Would that negate it? What language did Jesus speak, Adam? I don't know what language he spoke. Where did Jesus live, Adam? That's an easy one, man. Come on. I don't that one's easy. I don't know where he lived. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. Say that again? He spoke Aramaic. Oh, see, Max says he's Max knows the answer. I want to know. Yeah, for me, it, it doesn't matter because Allah didn't mention the Quran. He, he spoke Ara he spoke Aramaic, which is it's closer to Arabic than you know. For example, English is closer to Arabic. Now let's be clear. It's, let's be clear, Max. You're still a Muslim, right? Am I still a Muslim? I cannot say I am. Praise God, bro. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Why would you be the Muslim, life. Max? Why uh, it's, be, it's, it's because he's realizing the truth of the gospel. But we'll get to that in a second. Good logic. So, can we go back? Wait, so I said I don't know where Jesus lived. And I, I don't think it matters because Allah has mentioned the Quran. Wait, hold on. But what? Yeah. You, don't, okay. you don't know where Jesus lived. You don't, know, you don't know what language Jesus spoke. You it don't know how anything. Jesus prayed. 
Mm -hmm. So you don't know anything about Jesus, bro? Except what Allah has told us. You don't know nothing. Like, you, did, you, you didn't nothing. know the four schools of Islam and you are talking about Islam. What, what do you mean? Wait, say you that didn't again, know the first. You didn't know the four schools when Muslim Land turned asked you and now you're going look at, around. Look at this. Look, look, look how pathetic it is. You're going through a circle. Look, look how pathetic this is. Hold on, let's address God logic, listen. God logic, listen. Hold on, let's keep... hold on. Hold on, okay, let's fine. address it. Adam, hold on. I like okay. people. Like... I, I like these kind of guys. Hey, Tom, what are the four schools of jurisprudence? Huh? What are the four schools of jurisprudence? I don't know. You don't know? You mean the four keep schools your mouth of shut. Islam or what? Keep your mouth shut because you don't know what happened. When you don't have knowledge, you can't tell anyone that they got cooked or not cooked. Because you don't know. You could just be being deceived by Muslim Lantern's antics, right? You could be being deceived and not know what's going on because you're an ignoramus. So if I were I you... I could be being deceived you, right now from you. Yeah, Tom, I don't know. Tom, respectfully, if I were you, I would keep my mouth shut on these issues. Or else I will dog you out and embarrass you. Just like I was doing the Muslim Lantern before he kicked me. All right? So, let's keep moving, shall we? Yeah, yeah so we keep on the same point or are we moving on? Yeah, we're still on the same point. So yeah, okay. Know, so you don't know anything about Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. You don't doesn't know anything about him. It doesn't matter to me except what Allah has revealed. It, it, it should matter. Your Quran. Why? Well, what's it change? Oh, who's, what's who's it change? Somebody has loud, loud Max. Hey, Max, I think I'm a. Wait, it's not Max. Who's loud? It's like, sound like somebody doing something. Let me see if it's Tom. We'll, we'll see who it is. Um, it doesn't change anything if I know where he lived or what language. It changes everything. It changes, it changes everything. Because. Okay, when you can acknowledge that your Quran is insufficient about no, what it's no, 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 it's the Quran is sufficient for what is? is required, it's sufficient for what is what is required. Is yeah. that what the Quran says? It's uh, it says it's uh, a detailed expert, um, you go on. It's explanation for uh, yeah, for everything. Oh. Yeah, so you got it. So, mm -hmm. is the Quran sufficient and detailed for what you need to know or about everything? That it mentioned. Hang on, hang on. So, do you know Arabic? Do you know Arabic? Yes, I do. Okay. Help us out. Kulli shay. Kulli nice. shay in Arabic. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, Kulli shay doesn't mean every single thing. I mean, if you're demanding that the Quran is a. <laughs> hang on, hang on. No, but that's the thing. You don't know Arabic. You can't say that you're taking a translation. <laughs> For example, when. Uh, I mean, there's many things in the Quran when it says. Uh, no, 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 listen, listen. So, why are you laughing? When it says kul, kul. I'm laughing because I love you, man. You're funny, dude. I'm in, Thank I'm you. In, I, love you. I, love, I love you too. I love you too. Are I love you not you having fun? I'm having fun. I love this. Yeah, I love this. Too, okay. Man. I love you as well. I, I, I appreciate you, but the platform is good. You know, it's my passion. So I, I respect it. It's good. So uh, the, when it says kulli shay, it's it's evident. I mean, even even Kathir even says it's it's with things that are relevant. If you want the Quran to be a detailed explanation of everything, I mean, it's then you're gonna have to you have a unlimited book. It's I mean, it's a silly thing to to impose. It doesn't make sense. Kul shay in Arabic, right? Arabic idiom. It means anything that is relevant from the apparent meaning right if i listen 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 so for example if i tell you um i don't know do, do, do you know like uh wait mm, like you know i was watching the stream you had with hamza you know when he for example when he asked you he said there's a line on the pulpit i mean you you answered that it doesn't actually mean there's a line on the pulpit right correct do you remember that yeah so, it, so it, it could be figurative could be right no but this is not fit it's different the apparent meaning Right, and using the Arabic language and context, we know kul shay means everything which is required, and the tafsir has confirmed this. People in the Arabic language who are high in the Arabic language, but you, you do not know the Arabic language. You don't know what the context of the Quran means, so you can't impose say this means it's it's a, a detailed um, explanation of exactly everything because that's stupid. Then I mean, you want the Quran to to explain the the, the, foot, the exact footsteps of Moses? I mean, it doesn't make sense. Okay. That, then the Quran loses its wisdom. I got you. Thank you so much. I heard you out. I didn't interrupt you. Okay. You Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's yeah. good. So look, man. You're saying that it is stupid of me to hold the Quran to what it says. It's stupid of me to do that. That's tough. It's it says stupid it's a of detailed. me, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, it is stupid of me to read the Quran for what it says and to take it for what it says, even in are its you, context. Are you a literalist? Uh, well, I, I go by what the context gives me. And so what you're saying is, is that the apparent meaning, no, you're saying it would be stupid to, for, to understand it to mean everything literally that the Quran talks about. Therefore, 
you have to give it some type of figurative or apparent. No, 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 no. Cool shape. Cool, cool shape does not mean every single thing. Yes, if it I does. say it means everything. It okay, means so everything. let me tell you something. So if I say if I say one plus one equals two, you'll say everyone knows that. Does that mean a baby knows that? No, it's it's wait, you can't say that. If I say everyone wait, wait, knows wait, wait, that. Wait, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah. Okay. okay. So when we go to the verse here, it says that the Quran is a detailed explanation of Correct. everything. It doesn't say everything. It doesn't give it a caveat. It doesn't give it a, a qualifier. It doesn't say everything regarding things that's necessary for you to know. It Apparent doesn't say meaning. everything that's, you know, good for your guidance. It doesn't say that. It says meaning. It's a detailed explanation of everything. Do you see how even unexplained no, no, no. this verse has to be? Nah, let me, no, to hang on, let me ask you a question. The if verse I in say... the Quran that says it's a detailed explanation of everything is not detailed by what it means by detailed explanation of everything. Okay, so if I tell you everyone knows what Google is, does that mean every single person tell, on earth knows I, it? If I tell you that my cookbook is a detailed explanation of, of everything in it, what does that mean? Uh, it, it means it's a detailed explanation of everything to do with cookery. I mean, it's, it's okay, obvious. Okay, beautiful. I mean, so when the Quran says it's a confirmation of previous scriptures, not a fabrication, and a detailed explanation of everything, talking about the Quran, from the so apparent that means meaning. that it's detailed about everything in the Quran, right? No, it doesn't say that. What does it say is detailed no. about everything in the Quran? Because now you're going to bring up the verse that says some verses are ambiguous and some are not, which I'm doesn't not even, even apply to it. That. I don't, I don't no, need that's to the thing. I don't need yeah, to do because... that. Because. I don't do. Listen. Okay. I don't right. need to bring that verse up to show this contradiction because you already given me the contradiction I needed by saying that the Quran is not detailed about Jesus. It's not detailed and explained about him. It's about not, what yeah. he taught, how he practiced his religion, where he was born, things of this nature, stuff that it mentions, but it's not detailed about. It's ambiguous. Okay, so let me tell you how to do it with language. So that's you know a French? contradiction to this verse. Okay, I'll, okay, it's fine. Well, let's not, let's move to the language now. Do you know French? Do you know a bit of French? No, I don't know French. Bro. Okay, so in like French, when you say everyone, you say tout le monde. Tout le monde means the whole world. Right? right, the whole world. So you say everyone knows something. It doesn't literally mean the whole world. So it's it, it mean matter of linguistics coming to it as well. Cool shay does not mean every single thing. It means the apparent meaning. And if you say that you believe that, then you're a literalist. And when you read the Bible and you pick the Bible up, then I mean you're going to have some problems with that as well. You cannot be a literalist with with every single thing. There are things which have apparent meanings. But now, could you mind? Can we go back to the point before? No, nope, not to respond okay. to what you just said. I just let okay, you. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna okay. respond to what you just said. Dude, you literally just showed me how you just contradicted yourself and refuted the Quran. Because now in the Quran, when it's in its context, talking about itself, how it's a confirmation of, of what came before it, maybe that's figurative. Maybe maybe that doesn't mean what it says. Maybe the apparent meaning is something else. No, the apparent, no, the apparent meaning is that. Dude, don't cut me off, bro. Okay, sorry. So your Quran says it's detailed about everything, not just there. It says it in multiple places. It says the same thing. That the Quran claim came as a, a detailed explanation of everything. That's chapter 16, verse 89. You can't get away from it. Because it says it's a detailed explanation of everything. And it's a guidance. And it's a mercy for those who believe. So what do you understand from that verse? It's simple. The Quran is a detailed explanation of the things it talks about. And it's a guidance. Why'd you say that? Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. Why would you say it's a detailed explanation of everything it talks about? You just added that I'm, in. I'm what being you... charitable. I'm no, no, being no, no, charitable. No, no. That's my point. No, you you added that. I'm being charitable. No, no, no. You added that. That's not the meaning that you. Inter... I this what answers is detailed explanation of everything. Do you know what it means to be charitable? Yes, of course I know. Okay, I can make an argument that the Quran has to explain to me how a microwave works. However, I'm being charitable to the Quran. And so the Quran is talking about itself and what it itself talks about from the It doesn't say that. It says it doesn't say that. So when, when it says that the Quran is not a fabrication, what does that mean? It's is the Quran talking about what's in the Quran or something outside of it? Talking about the Quran. Yeah. Oh, okay. When the Quran yeah. says that it itself is a confirmation of what came before it, is it talking about something outside the Quran or what's in the Quran? The Quran, good. Yeah, Beautiful. Your... So when the yeah, Quran okay. says that it's detailed about everything, is it saying saying something outside mm -hmm. the Quran? Or is it talking about contents within the Quran? No, 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 no. Because you, I mean, you just, no, let, let me tell you. That one? Why can't you I'll answer, answer that one? I'll answer it. Listen to me. So when you said the Quran is a detailed explanation, right, for everything in it, you've added that in. For everything. I didn't say it. I didn't, not say it. I didn't say hang it. On, hang on. Okay, okay. So you're saying basically it means the Quran has detailed explanation of every single verse in it. That's right. Correct. Is that what you're saying? 
That's correct. It's it doesn't say that. Explained about the contents. Bring the verse up. It's talking Bring the about verse its up. own contents. Okay, the verse is. What did you say? Chapter sixteen, verse eighteen, verse 89. nine. Chapter 16, verse 89, and uh, chapter 12, sorry. verse 111. If you want, I could pull them both up on the screen for us. We could look at them side yes, by please. side. And I've got, I've got an answer for you as well, Ivory. عليك الكتاب تبين لكل شيء وهدى ورحمة وبشرى للمسلمين. Yeah, لكل شيء doesn't mean that. I mean, it doesn't. It does not. It's a linguistic thing. When I say like in French, tout le monde does not mean yeah, the whole world. It's magical Arabic. It's the magical Arabic, right? Do you know Arabic? It's the magical no, Arabic. Do you, do you know Arabic or not? It's the magical do you know Arabic. Arabic. Everything doesn't mean no, no, everything. No, basically, yeah, when you're talking everything, about right? the Quran, you, you do need the Arabic, though. Would you not agree with that, Avery? Does the word in Arabic mean everything or not? It means everything with the apparent meaning. Does it, does it say, does it mean everything with the apparent meaning or does it mean everything? <laughs> do you see how now you're adding? No, 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 no. You have to apply. Oh, hang on. Is it everything with the apparent meaning or everything? You apply oh, the apparent you, meaning. Oh, you apply the apparent meaning. Where does the Quran say that? Uh, it's Avery, you, have to know you see, you see how when I try to be charitable to the Quran and say it is talking about the contents within it, within it, you say, where does the Quran say that? Where does the Quran say that? You see that? You see how you, that goes? Okay, no, I can do the same sure. thing to you. So if I say you know, everyone knows Google, everyone knows Google. No, is when, that you say, when you say that, no, stick to what your Quran says. Yeah, no, I know, but I'm Quran giving you an example. Detail, don't cut me off. Okay. The Quran is a detailed explanation of everything. Good. Yeah. So can does the word again. every does the word everything exist there or not? Kul shay. Does that Kul mean shay. everything or not? Everything in context and with the uh, applied to the apparent meaning. You see, guy, you, you no, see no, 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 no. Okay, let's answer the question. Guys. Everyone, if, oh, I yeah, everyone if I say everyone knows Google. There we go. If I say everyone knows. You're you're done. You're done. Is there anybody here else that can prove to me that Jesus is a Muslim? You don't know anything in your Quran. It doesn't tell you nothing about Jesus. So prove to me Jesus' religion, that he followed Islam. Hello? Hi, are you a Muslim? Um, well, I'm, yeah, I'm, I come from a Muslim background, but uh, I'm kind of uh, leaning towards uh agnostic a little bit now because I learned Islam and I'm... Uh, but I can kind of like ask questions about uh, Christianity that I guess I don't really understand that kind of, I guess, has connotations for Islam. But anyway, yeah. Are we okay. going to so, jump around, so, Avery? So, so here what we're doing is the Muslims are supposed to be here proving yep. to me that Jesus is a Muslim at this point in time. Yeah. Okay, so this is what this is what we're doing at this at this juncture, and none yeah, of these yeah, yeah, I know. They're, they're having problems. Avery, yeah, did you understand? Problems. Sorry, yeah. Okay. Did you understand what I said about double standards earlier? Did you did you refute that? Yeah, I already got rid of you, Adam. Is there anybody new that wants to say something? Okay, let me let me say something. Can I have a discussion with you about your original thing that you asked? Yeah. My thing so is you, about you. You, you why are, are you, why are you going away from Jesus being a Muslim, dude? I am. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Avery, I'm talking to you with respect. I know yeah. you've had a frustrating... I know you feel frustrated, brother, because I know there's a lot of people that have been jumping around and we're going from topic. I know you're frustrated and you're logical. I'm not coming with that energy. I'm coming to you with respect, yeah? Okay. So, Please, we're on this. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying to you, Avery, it, you know the original source, the scholars say this, there was an original source, it was called Q. From Q, they, 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 they say... This is where Mark and Matthew, the earlier Gospels, before no. John. You know, Q, we know that. Am, Q, I, am I wrong it, in this? Q, no, you're, yes, you're wrong. The, okay, what they say, Q is theoretical. Wrong. It's theoretical. Yes. But it's, yeah, so it's, it's not genuine, something that actually exists. It's a theory. It's, and it's a matter the, fact, the, the theory, dominant it's, theory. Yes or no? No, it's just a theory. No, this it's is the, the point. dominant theory. It doesn't it, exist, bro. It, be, be fair, man. It's the I'm dominant being very theory. fair. It doesn't exist. Okay, so when was Mark written? Yeah, around 45-ish, 50 AD. You, you don't, I, can, you, can, can you confirm that? Is that proven? What, is, what does that have to do with proving Jesus was a Muslim? It's proof. Okay, so in the Quran talks about Jesus. You know your original claim where it says it, the, the gospel mentioned, uh, uh, the gospel mentioned uh, Jesus. Yeah? Is this, does this uh, have to do with Jesus being a Muslim? Allah, does this so have to do with original, Jesus being a Muslim? You asked that question, right? That was your original Does this have question. to do with Jesus being a Muslim? Yes. So okay, this is what I, I want to hear it because if, if I so, I'm gonna let so, you talk. So, 
If if I don't hear you on the point you're about Jesus being a Muslim, I'm gonna cut you. Respectfully, and you're cutting me off, my brother. You know, so this is the thing, uh, uh, Sas Saracen. Saracen. This is the yes. thing, bro. When you say that you're respecting me, that means that you're going to be on the topic that I have at hand. You will be disrespecting me by continuing to go against my wishes, trying to talk about something I'm not talking about. You get what okay. I'm saying? So I, if I you it. if you respect me like you say you do, yeah. stay on the topic that I'm talking about and okay. please address it. So can I answer both questions? And I ask you, just give me a minute, two minutes, and don't disrespect and don't uh, cut me off. If you feel I'm going off topic, All right. Is there anyone else that would like to engage with what I am talking about at the moment instead of trying to gaslight and act like you're respectful and try to do your own thing here? Um, can I just say a few things? So if I'm being completely honest, um, there is actually no way to prove like from the Bible that Jesus was a Muslim. Um, if you actually read the Gospels, like you have these arguments like um, Jesus called uh, God Father and these things. Um, but also, uh, I'm really not attacking. I'm just like really trying to be honest. Um, a lot of the times Jesus does say a few things like um, you have to like not about himself being God, but to for people to kind of worship the father and things like that so he doesn't really say anything about himself but he does talk about worshiping the father and these things okay thank you so he does talk about worshiping himself as well he doesn't negate himself mm -hmm. however to the point being raised here you're absolutely right jesus pointed also worship to the father specifically which would be anti-islam correct yeah all right so she gets it does anyone disagree? Looks like me and Sister Nori are on the same page. Does anybody on the on the panel disagree so far? I'm kind of yeah. on the fence. Who said that? There's two people. There's Sarah who said hello and me. So, yeah. Solomon. Uh, who's, okay, that's Solomon who says you're on the fence. You're on the fence of Jesus being a Muslim? Yeah, well, I mean, what she's saying is basically, and I... That's why I said I kind of agree with her in that, which is what of one of the brothers previously tried to say that if you're trying to move in a biblical context, was Jesus a Muslim in the way that you want? It's not going to be directly possible, but there are things that he did and the things, the way that he did them that we can show you to say that, yes, in this context, from a biblical perspective as well, you can identify jesus as a muslim because give me an example okay so the whole argument here i don't know why nobody's been bringing this points up was whether father and god are two different things and where did islam say that father is allah this is even jesus doesn't segregate between these two things he says i go back to my father and your father my god and your god he doesn't separate father and god he yes, says yeah. the only true okay so exactly so this is a moot point. Like we don't even need no, no, to discuss. I know you, you said Jesus exactly. says Father, he means God. Wait, wait. You said exactly. I literally just disagree with you, and you said exactly. No, I didn't hear what you. What do you mean? Okay. I didn't hear what you just. You quoted okay. a verse. Sure. You quoted a ahead. verse. Where Jesus literally makes a, dif a differentiation, a distinction. No, he between doesn't. Father and God. Okay, so let me ask you this: the word Father that's used there and God that, that's used there. In John chapter 20, verse 17, are those the same word? But I'm, it's literally showing you that he's making no difference between them. Okay, Solomon. are you implying that, hold Solomon. on, are you implying Solomon. that he's going back to his father Solomon. and his God? Solomon, you are probably 30 seconds away since you was already here, and I've already dealt with you, that my patience for you is not as high as it was earlier. Answer me directly. Is the word Father and the word God in John chapter 20, verse 17, the same word? Yes or no? No, no. But the okay, context thank you. makes it short. Oh, so this is what, let's get an understanding together. I'm trying to work with you. I'm trying. I hope so. I hope so. So 
maybe you need to refine what you're saying that okay. in this context it's not that um it's not that the word father and the word god are synonymous in the same no because okay. they're not they're two completely different words however both according to jesus god okay. is the father and the father is god that's okay. what you probably okay. really mean correct that's exactly what i said it's not what you said you you try to say that the word he doesn't make a distinction between the word father and the word god but what you it really doesn't matter mean, about the word it does matter because according to islam can you use the word father as an identifier of god this has already been discussed avery even okay what about john 17 what about john 17 3. as a muslim can you use the word father as an identifier of allah yes no very huh? very simple cut no not in this islam Thank that you. muhammad has introduced so it's very easy that's but that's an Thank easy question you so much so that means that jesus when he uses the word father and as an identifier of god that means he's out of the fold of islam can i ask a question sure okay when as one of the brothers mentioned already islam which muhammad came to bring about 600 years or however many hundred years later and a muslim are two different things when we say that jesus was a muslim he practiced the uh, one god which is why another brother mentioned the connection of the old testament the new testament and the quran because all of them say the Elo, uh, the Shammai, which is, you know, yeah, Adonai, whatever it is, the Lord is one. That's what Muslims are debating about. You, you when we Yaakov? say that Islam Yaakov? says, when we say that Islam says, uh, when you're saying that, oh, it's in Islam, it doesn't say father. Of course, it doesn't say father. That's coming in the time of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So did, so so did, this, so did, so did the term Muslim. Tell me again, Abraham. Repeat the point. So did the term just... Muslim. Islam and no, it... this concept of Muslim. Muslim didn't come until... No, it didn't. Muslim, the meaning of the word Muslim comes from the word Aslama, which means to you don't gotta uh, do be... This. You, don't have to, you don't you don't you don't gotta do this. As a Muslim, let me but ask Avery, you. Am I making sense? As a Muslim, can making... you say that God is your father as a Muslim? But we already addressed this. You can't. No, you didn't, because you keep going back. Is no, can I you said say God that. is a can you can you as a Muslim say that God is your father? That would be sure. In the, in the time you, of Sarah, Muhammad, that would be sure. In the, yeah, Sarah, in the time of Muhammad, you, no. In the time of Muhammad, no. So in the time of Jesus, yes. That's what I'm trying to imply to you that in the time of Jesus and in the time of Moses, when the Jews were using the scriptures, and it's clear that they were using the word father and calling other people gods, and they misinterpreted that usage. That's why God then later forbid that no, no, usage no. of the word said, father. Oh, no, your Quran doesn't say that they interpreted it that way. Your Quran that's says, exactly what okay. your Quran says the Jews and the Christians used to say that they themselves are sons of Allah, his beloved. So they were sons of God in the sense that he loved them. But that's what I'm trying not to in, say. Not in the sense that they were gods. And then Allah rejects that. He says, no, you're not. You're just, you're, you're just men like everyone else who I punish. Whoever I yes, will. That's, that's why I'm trying to say that you have to look at the Quran holistically. That's why there are parts of the Quran that say that you cannot use certain terminologies. That's why Allah, when no, he defines is, himself. Are you, are you hearing yourself? But I'm trying to just make one point, Avery. Just one Can point. I just In ask a question really quickly uh, to Suleiman, actually? Uh, what does it mean to be a Muslim? He just said, a submitter to God alone. One okay. submit to one God. Okay. That's what he's okay. saying. So can you be a Muslim if you don't follow the Sunnah and Muhammad? N Nori, I just answered that question. It's... <laughs> there is no Islam and Muslim conflation. Islam yeah. is a is a religion that the prophet muhammad he, 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 i'm done dishonest see right, the so thing we... is like i'm trying here like i'm trying to kind of go with like the um the theme that you have for the debate but 
the arguments that they bring up, they're kind of like, ridiculous. they don't make sense. They're ridiculous, aren't they? They don't make really much sense. And I'm trying to actually think about good arguments or something that like a question that can be answered. Like he asked a question like, for example, when Jesus said, I'm going to your God and my God. That was one of my questions. Like, you know, why did Jesus say that? Yeah. So that'll be a question for Christianity, not for him. Not yeah, for yeah, yeah. Jesus well, I asked him a question because he was saying that Jesus was a Muslim. Jesus was a Muslim. But there's no way to prove that really from the Bible. But the Muslims don't believe that so far. No, I, I agree. You can't prove that from the Bible. Who said that? That is me, Adam. Beautiful. Yeah. What about you, Sarah? You believe that Jesus is a Muslim? I mean, the term Muslim um, didn't exist during the time of Jesus. The term Muslim didn't exist at the time of Jesus. That's correct. Sarah, are you a Muslim? Yes. Okay. Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, bro? You okay, huh? I'm good. Do you believe that Jesus is a Muslim? Mm, yeah, he was a Muslim. He says so in the Quran still. Okay, so this is this is the confusion that we have here, guys. So you have to respect we, my opinion, by the way, as well. So you what? Know, like, you have to respect my opinion as well, you know. No, I don't. Hmm? No, I don't. It's mutual, you know what I'm saying. I I, uh, I, I, don't, I, I I don't have to respect your opinion. <laughs> I don't have to, especially if if your opinion is is seeped in falsehood. I don't respect that kind of opinion. You know, you have the right to believe and have an opinion that you want. That doesn't mean I have to respect it, but I'll hear you out. You, you have a voice here. So there's a difference with that. Um, <clears throat> so for the people that be here that believe Jesus is a Muslim, this is this is what we're this is where we're at in this conversation. And I think I could we could wrap this up here and I'll switch gears with Sarah and Nori. Re here we have history being against this Muslim claim that Jesus was a Muslim. Obviously, the term Muslim didn't exist with Jesus, um, nor did the word Islam. Yeah, by the way, you said that neither does this mean there's, there's, you said there's proof of the crucifixion. Where can you source this proof as all? Well? That's that's a angular subject, my friend. How is, is it academically? academically Ibrahim, you, you're cutting me yeah, off. Yeah, it's just not you're just off not subject. Necessary. Okay, no worries. I'll, I'll speak. Oh, focus, well. please. Focus. Are you focused? Yeah, yeah, go on, bro. But let me speak as well. You have to let me speak. Well, come on. You can man. speak next. It'll be on you if you want to engage. I'm getting thirsty. I'm cooking. That's why I'm heating up. That's why. Okay. So we have the problem here where 600 years after Jesus, all right, this Quran. The Muslims is making a claim from the Quran that this historical figure, Jesus, believed in the same God that we find in Islam, right? Had the same beliefs and, and views that we find in the Quran about God and submitted and believed in that same God that's described in the Quran. However, the problem is, is that when, when we actually check what Jesus believed and check what he taught, we find out that he is far from a Muslim. One of the most simple things being that he's the son of God. But yeah, again, I have to say there's a prerequisite to the claim. You get me? It's Ibrahim's turn. Okay, fine. I'll let him speak. Yeah, I don't mind if it's a group discussion. What was the, what was that again? I thought you were talking to everybody. I was talking to everybody, but it was your turn to respond though. Wait, what was it again? Just simplify the question because it's doing something. Same Basically, time. the Quran is wrong by saying Jesus is a Muslim because our historical reliable sources on Jesus' life says otherwise, that he taught and believed in something different than what Muslims teach and believe. Okay, so the difference is for me, bro. So you have to think about it like this. Your, your primary source, which you're quoting from, is the Bible, right? Of course, that's the earliest historical rela uh, reliability Lovely. And the first that we have on Jesus' gospel, life. The earliest gospel that we have of Mark is when? It's 40 years after Christ, right? No, actually, it's... Uh, the 30, P45. So it would be like, at best, 20 years. 20 years after Jesus. Okay, so 20 years after. And what happened during the time in Jerusalem after Christ's death? What was happening? What about it? 
uh, in Jerusalem when Saul of Tardis, he was coming to kill all the Christians and he killed all the Christians. You remember Stephen? He didn't, he didn't, kill, all of them. He didn't kill all of them. But he killed a lot of Christians and he put his... He, he arrested some, had some uh -huh. killed, but then changed and became a Christian himself. Because the thing is for me, bro, you're going off uh, the New Testament. That's 16 books written by Paul who, first of all, we have to validate... I'm not talking about the books written by Paul. I'm talking about the yeah, books but that's the written New Testament. by the Apostle of Jesus. You're quoting from the Gospels. Yeah, Paul didn't write the Gospels. The 16 books he wrote, though, in the New Testament, right? He wrote, he wrote, some, he wrote some books in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. the, gospel, the Gospel accounts he did not write. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Your source of information is coming from the Bibles, which we will we don't necessarily believe has been preserved. So within that 20 years... But yeah, but it, whether example, you believe it's preserved or not, it doesn't change the fact that it's reliable historically on the life of Jesus. No, no, that, that's what I'm saying. You say reliable, but how? what do you define as reliable? Let's go by what you define as reliable. For example, what language did Jesus speak? Uh, Aramaic, right? I could be... I can't, I can't, Ar Aramaic. Some people say Hebrew, some people say Ar Hebrew. Aramaic, Hebrew. Okay. How do you know that? Uh, mass transmission, of course. How do we know the mass Roman transmission Empire? from how where? Do we, how do we know the Roman Empire? Was, Focus. How, I'm Focus. asking. Yeah, I'm genuinely okay. saying. One Focus. Second, I'm, answering. I'm answering. Focus. Mass okay. transmission from where? From hundreds of thousands of people that's been saying over the same time. I'll from give you an where? example. I'll give you an from example. Where? I'll give you an Previous example. scriptures. Yeah. I'll give you an example. How do we know the Roman Empire Bro, uh, you're, 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 you're about 30 seconds away from also being removed because you're not able to engage. Okay. Where so do you where? get the transmission that Jesus spoke Aramaic? We, I'm not really sure. I, I don't know how to answer that still, to be honest. You don't, don't know? know. How I don't do, know how do, to answer Do this for me. Do me a favor. Go I don't know the computer. question. I don't, know, I don't understand the question. It's a fallacious you, What do you mean you don't understand the question? Okay, right, let, me, let me just ask it in a different way. Simplify it, yes. Where do you question. get it from? Where does it come from okay. that Jesus spoke Aramaic? Okay, where do, we get, where, we, where do we get that from? Just going about the geographical location of the time. Beautiful. How do you okay. know the geographical location of Jesus? How do you know he lived in a place where Aramaic and Hebrew were the primary languages. Okay, but how do we know your story Answer is right? the question. How do we know your story is right? Answer the question. I'm, answer, I'm answering. That's my question. That's my answer. So it's a question. Okay. Take care, man. You wasted my time. Bro, I'm answering your question. All right. Huh. But God, not, you keep... Can you answer the question as to why you think it's reliable? That's the thing. Because, like, we've asked the question the whole because time. It hasn't been reliable. answered. I'll tell you huh? why. Everything that we know about Jesus comes from the New Testament. Everything. Where he lived, where he preached, what he preached, the language he spoke, the name of his disciples, how he prayed, how he practiced his religion, all of it, everything we know about Jesus comes from the New Testament. That's good, but did the disciples write it? Yeah. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Uh, the, have you heard Bart Ehrman's? Let, let, let me show you something. Like, for example, the okay. Angel, the gospel, right? That was given to mm -hmm. Jesus. Who wrote yep. it? What do you mean? I don't know if it was written. It could have been an oral, oral, it was oral written. tradition. Court, chapter 7, verse 157. It says they will find Muhammad written in the Torah and the gospel with them. Okay. The maktub doesn't mean, and hang on, it's Arabic language. Kitab means scripture. Scripture. Maktub scripture. means written. Yeah, yeah, maktub, but it comes from Kitana, which means it scripture. Says, it says that the Torah and the gospel were maktubin. No, 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 maktub, but there's two meanings. Kitab means scripture or literal writing. Bro, get out of here, Adam. Take care, man. You can't even be honest. Thank you. In this discussion. No, 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 I'm, I'm being honest, but thank you very much. Absolutely dishonest. Dude, like, what is up with you guys as Muslims, man? Why can't you be honest? Like, it's just, this is sad. Can somebody have an honest conversation?